Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I'd like to thank for everybody that's been uh, sending me messages through the uh, YouTube Messenger. And uh, I've had some problems with the uh, uh, getting enough power going to my uh, charge controller here. I actually installed a solar charge controller. Uh, I've also installed uh, amp meter to show the pulses of uh, the charging process. So <clears throat> I've had some feedback from uh, one of my subscribers uh, named Thomas. I'd like to thank him for that because he actually solved the problem that I had. The problem with this system is there's a lot of power loss that happens in, in the generator because it's using such a small spike of power. So he suggested that I add some capacitors to the system to uh, ramp up the power so the power can flow basically through the whole system, get to the solar charger, and then ultimately charge the battery. So I'm going to show you what's uh, my result here. I'm going to get her fired up. And uh, I've got a fan here just to make sure everything stays cool. So let's give her a spin. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in on this. See the pulses now? Now I'm getting pulses of power to the actual system. So right now my battery is pulling about 0.54 amps, 55 amps. And now it's consistently giving me a good charge. Get this capacitor, yeah. So I'm getting it up to about 200 milliamps of uh, charging power. And as you can see on the charging side, it's actually starting to increase as we go. So that's helped me out greatly in my project. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for their input on my uh, channel. I'm going to continue to work on this and uh, get this all finished up. I still have some, uh, I'm going to make another panel here, mount the fan. Uh, now that I got my amp meter installed there. And I also got the solar charger. Now, the, what the great thing is about the solar charger is it tells, it actually can sense what kind of battery I'm using. So right now, this one here is one of those gel cell batteries. So the thing could actually identify what it is and charge it accordingly. So my problem was I wasn't getting enough power from the generator to the solar charger to give a consistent charge. So these capacitors that I have installed here now it's actually this capacitor here and this one here are tied together and they are basically right after the bridge rectifier so it's creating a, a good buffer of power and pumping it into the solar charger and from the solar charger it's charging the battery so as you can see now it's actually gone up to point um 12.35 so it's going up at a very very fast rate um approximately 0 0.01 volts per minute so it seems to be working good um, as you can see still pulling about 0.5 amps on the battery side it's showing me I got 12.6 volts going into the system and it's pumping out uh, about 200 milliamps it, it, it varies but it's hitting about 200 milliamps uh, right now it just shows 100 and I gotta actually install this capacitor a little better and yeah it's really helping so now you can see the spike pulses of amperage going into the battery and I'm also using the automotive relay switch for this test the next test I'm gonna do I'm gonna actually use my uh, solid state relay this one here so We'll be using that next in the next test. So, yeah, thanks again, Thomas, uh, one of my subscribers, for uh, giving me some input on the capacitors. Uh, they've helped out quite a bit. So, all right, I'm going to make this a short one. So, everyone, uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, if you like me, subscribe below there. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you soon.